It's Alan here on the 12th of November 2011 at the Aviation Museum, the site of the B24 Liberator Memorial Restoration Fund and currently in its 10th year the Bayonet Military Model Competition. This event has grown a fair amount since leaving the Scout Hall to this out of the way authentic World War II hangar. This venue does seem very cluttered, messy and dark as it is an operating workshop to restoring an actual historical artifact. The atmosphere is amazing to what to be a military model competition and everybody took to it very well. Besides the model show itself and the swap and sell section which was pretty good, there are many artifacts scattered around the joint including parts from other aircrafts, uniform badges, permanently displayed cabinet models and many other goodies. There was a few nice items in the gift shop as well. The gem of this museum is the bomber in the middle of the place which is in current state of being restored. The B-24 Liberator, a allied bomber made by the Americans and this particular model flown by the Royal Australian Air Force. Its natural finish is the metallic uh, silver we see now with only a marking painted on the body. It was quite a privilege to get up close and personal and even touch the aircraft. The museum is open to the public. I'll put details below about open hours, website and location. Very worthwhile checking out and they do accept donations as their non-profit organisation. The most beautiful part of this venue is seeing weathered and objects in real life as reference material. This rusted piece off a plane is absolutely amazing to see the colour and how the markings have faded over time. In the swap cell on impulse I bought a 48 scale Mitsubishi Zero by Tamiya. It's a 1980s kit and I've no idea what I'm going to do with it. Also from Sparrow Casting, a local garage kit mob a Type 95 Hygo and Type 94 Tankette which the casting is rough as guts but I always have fun with my Japanese tanks. The competition this year was extremely tough but there was some fantastic and very lovely models on display to be seen. It was just as fun to check out the work on display as it was to check out the amazing artifacts around the place. Uh, of course the weapon of choice this year was aircrafts almost dwarfing all other categories and some of the colours and airbrush work was just brilliant. I really did enjoy getting in close and having a good look at some of the work that was on offer. A lot of kits that attempted weathering, particularly the armour, was very realistic and absolute joy to be there. With aircrafts we had a lot of unusual subjects, a lot of very colourful colour schemes and interesting concept builds. Some of them they were having fun, other than really deeping deep into history and references to find that little extra something special to build. I really enjoyed some of the kits that had very personal touches or interesting ideas that just shouted or grabbed your attention, particularly graphic markings or whatnot. I did enter free kits in the science fiction and fantasy category which was chock-a-block with standard science fiction and wargaming miniatures. Put in the Torrington based Zaku, the Weathered Ball and the SD Shonen Musha. The other two scored quite well but the Zaku came second in its category. Unfortunately I had to dash off early for work and left my prize behind. In conclusion it was a great day. I thoroughly enjoyed myself. Loved the new venue. I understand we're going to be here again next year. Thank you very much for watching and until next time, 
I'll let the video run out with some further eye candy for you guys to enjoy. Catch you guys later.